No Man's Land C4 is based in the Solent near Portsmouth, England. Construction work began in 1865 and the fort was complete in the 1880s, long after the threat of the seaborne invasion from France had passed at a cost of £462,000. In the Second World War, those who were serving on these forts were chosen for their inability to swim to avoid any attempt of escape. No Man's Fort is almost identical to Horse Sands Fort. It is being used as a luxury hotel and hospitality centre for high-paying guests due to the privacy it offers with an indoor swimming pool and two helipads. The fort was then officially opened in 2015 as a luxurious hotel. No Man's was described as a 99,000 square foot hotel, restaurant and luxury service for all people, including a helipad and fine dining. This is what's left of this hotel today. All right, guys, so we have just made it to the seafront. Well, actually, we was here at about six o'clock in the morning, but we're all set up now. Got Matt there. Good morning. <laughs> so we are going back for the, the last two forts today. So let's see what the day brings. All right, guys, we just set off. Hey, that view behind is so lush. Sunset. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, guys, so we have just arrived at the third fort. I can't wait to go up there. I've seen photos, and I tell you what, this is one of the best ones. There's palm trees, there's bloody palm trees on it. Oh my god. Right, guys, I will catch up with you when I start climbing up it. Yeah, if we use that stick, we can grab into that rail. <laughs> Amazing, well done. Take your time, take your time. Jen, can you hold on to that? This is very slippy. All right, guys, so we're just unloading. I've made it the first set of stairs, but there's a gate. So we've somehow got to step on those spiky things and slip around. So we've got to be careful because this is really, really slippy because it's obviously wet. Okay, right, let's do it. Shit me. Oh. Oh, jeez. This is not for the faint hearted. Right, so we have just made it up. There we are. I probably made it look way more complicated than it had to be. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah I, there is no chance of Adam climbing that. So, that's the only way on. I shall be sat on this deck because I don't fancy that. Shit. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Damn. Right, so I reckon if we get the ladder on here up onto the next level, well, once we get up onto the next level, then we have to get up again, but there is another ladder then. So I reckon we get it from here to there, and that's going to be fairly safe because we can get the ladder back out. How sturdy way. is this? Oh, very. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the. It has to be sturdy because it's one of the main emergency ways, so it has to be kept impeccably. All right. Come now. Shaley Coast and going up. There we are. Oh. Oh. Amazing, actually, the drop here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Matt. It's all right. Let me go get metal things to fall onto. Or, which they're not going to do because why would they do that? <laughs> it's there anyway. Added bit of security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You okay, everyone? Jenny, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, dear God. And we're another 20 foot higher. All right, guys, so we are at the top. Look at that. Just setting up everything. Hi, Matt. Hello. <laughs> right, let's get in and explore this place because I've got a feeling this is probably going to be the best explorer of my life. It's a bit of a bold statement, but I'm actually quite prepared to take that bold statement because I've seen a few photos and already I'm in love with this place. Right, so, oh my goodness. This is looking incredible. I don't know where to start like in the sweet shop. Oh, hi guys. There's Jenny Evie. Wow. There's Aish. Hiya. Hi. <laughs> right, I think we're just gonna crack straight into it. Oh, look at that. No. Down in the engine room, we'll be going ding, ding, ding. Every time it does like, it goes ding, yeah. ding, ding, ding. So. 
Yeah. That is incredible. Minus 90 pound a bottle. 90? 90. Yeah. Chateau du Pop. Right, I think I'll start at this side. I'll let Matt, Matt, Matt do his thing. Oh, slam that door, Matt. <laughs> oh, they've set the table for us. Oh, this is so cute. Look. <laughs> they've even got the salt and pepper because last time we didn't have it. So there we are. <laughs> Look at the fireplace. This is so And the view, oh this my goodness. There is no better view than this. There's palm trees. Oh, you look at that. Oh, the balcony. Yeah, yeah it goes up. This is light. Yeah. Light. Oh, wow. Isn't that so yeah. cool? Oh my god. Wow. Skylight. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, look at the view. 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 Oh, a rum bar. Look up there. And this is the crew door that um, Matt came through. There's a little till there. And a load of wine glasses. This place is so flipping untouched. Then again, though, it is chaos to get up. So I do understand that that's why not many people have been here. Look at the garden. Look at the garden. There's actual flowers and everything. There's awesome. bloody palm trees and everything. I feel like I'm in Hawaii. God, who needs a tropical holiday when you just come here? Yeah, just go here. <laughs> they actually set the table. This is just insane. Yeah, there we are. That was the crew door that links into the kitchen. Got a bathroom, pristine condition. Look at that. Even the toilet roll has been done, like kind of like um, origami. Like, look at that. They've done a little flower thingy on it. Ready? There she is. <laughs> so here's the uh, HMS Mary Rose. Oh, this bathroom. Huge mirror. Oh, the decor is just... I don't think anyone has ever stayed here. It's just so fresh. Oh, look at this chap. Who's, who we got here? Is that an original? That's an actual oil painting. That must cost quite a bit. It's got no uh, signature though. So if anyone knows or has an idea, it'd be interesting to know if it's worth anything. I got a funky set of drawers. A big um, propeller for the boat, I think. I'm almost adamant that is. Lovely mirror and look at this bed. Obviously it's a little bit dirty on the pillows, but the size of it. I'm not sure if that's a king or a queen. I'm not hundred percent sure. Not even an iron. They've even got an iron just ready. Flat screen TV. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. That sofa. I have a safe in the cupboard. No way. Oh my god. Little coffees and teas. safe in the cupboard, eh? It's just all open. What? Is it power on? No. No, no power. Oh, a clawfoot tub. Wow. That's a bit more. Market. That That's is, yeah, yeah, that it's is. It's a small tub though, isn't it? It know? is, yeah, it's kind of more of a, looks more decorative than usable, but mm. obviously it is. And even the soaps, they've even got the tiny hand soaps and everything just sat there, fre like, you know, fresh, brand new. Got some books. It's even got carpet, the carpet. Yeah, so these all link. So obviously the Mary Rose links with that one. So maybe it's like a, a family room, I'm kind of guessing. Yeah. Sea view. <laughs> this is just too exciting. Look. Oh my god. The dining room down there. Oh, this is just, this is so precious. I'm going to the rum bar. Rum bar. How classy is this? <sighs> Oh, wow, look at that, that's adorable. Got a little sink behind it. Bottles, rum up there. CCTV, load of wires. 
don't know what that is actually. I actually, is that a, I don't know, a Wi-Fi? I have no idea. If anyone knows what that is, please comment. It's probably a very simple answer, but I can't think what that is. It's got like a signal on the top, so. I don't know. Oh, here we are. Caribbean rum. Oh, so it actually says where it all comes from. Jamaican rum. Trinidad rum. So it actually says where all this stuff's come. That's really cool. And the bottle's obviously just sat there. So there we are. Oh, hello. <laughs> so another bathroom, a little throne. Another throne. And what is, is this? That's a bit odd. Sofas in a bathroom. Huge mirror again. An absolutely teeny little room. How sweet. That's made out of paper, I think. I'm almost adamant that is. But yeah, there's not really anything. Oh, there's a boy in there. Ooh. Yeah, this room obviously hasn't been developed. But let's go through to the other side. I feel like a queen in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Was it? Can you imagine if he just fell right now straight into the dining room table? <laughs> Smash. I'm gonna go up top with a map. All right, let's let's test this floor. Oh, oh, I get I get where you hesitate now. It's a bit screechy, isn't it? Oh. Okay, that's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> that falls. We're gonna hit into a table. So you could just land wow. on the on the table and you have a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Freshly served. <laughs> Talk about fast service. Bam. Oh dear. Look at that fort. So it's got all of the uh, all the forts around the room. Yeah. It's not this one, is it? It's just all the other ones. Is it the one local to us, maybe? Party on SPF. Yeah. And my my boat has gone right the wrong position to have to Oh, where's the boat? Oh yeah. Oh, our boat has uh, gone the wrong way. So basically our boat should be sat there and it is actually, it's gone so far you cannot see it. If it hits the wall, we are buggered because the barnacles will obviously tear it. So we really need to uh, sort that out. I think Matt's heading down. I might have to make a quick jump cut and go and help him, but we shall see. Look at that. <laughs> every moment of this I tell you what one day when I get the money I'm coming back here when it's open oh look at the crow hello little crow <laughs> heading up another set of ladders these ones I don't really like these stairs oh they feel dodgy Oh, it's hot up here, isn't it? It's, really hot, yeah. it's like a greenhouse. Jesus. Here we go. Walk again. Right, look at that. <laughs> There's the food down there. We're eating food right at the bottom. There's Aish. Yeah. So we've got <laughs> the best view ever. You can go up here in rain, wind, shine, snow, whatever. It's not going to matter to you here. It's not going to matter a jot. Mm. Sea, yeah. yeah, no, our boat is completely gone missing. So that's not really, that's not uh, what we want to see, obviously. So I'm hoping it should be all right. Maybe even left binoculars for people. But I'll tell you what, this is worth the money. I believe this is £1,600 again for the night. And if it is, tell you what's worth it. There's a helipad, look. There's a helipad, that's mad. Isn't it hot up here? Yeah. I am sweating. <laughs> there's a hot tub, there's two hot tubs. Look down there, in the back corner. Oh, wow. Crazy. I'm gonna come down from this bit, guys, because I'm literally boiling. And I will catch up with you when I get down to the, the dining room. All right, so back at the main doors. That's obviously the side we've just done. And we're gonna head down here now. I don't, I don't like stairs for some reason that have holes in. Although these are not gonna fall, they're incredibly stable. Oh my God, guys, 
This is mental. This is absolutely crazy. There's a bloody bar. There's an ah. Oh, there's a there's a grand piano in the corner. Look at this. <laughs> and a microphone. We got a microphone and everything, but it's very out of tune. I can't even do chopsticks, I don't think. Hang on. Oh, it sounds like a horror. So all of these rooms are all accessible all the way around here. And there's a downstairs as well. So I think I should just start walking and get going because there's a hell of a lot to explore. So there's a boat just hanging up, just chilling. Out the whole short staff only. What's that all about? Have you looked up there? Oh, a bit dodgy. Oh, okay, I'll give it a skip then. Better not. Oh, this is stunning. All right, guys, and we are back. Sorry, we had to take a little break because of the boat, obviously. It was going the wrong way to the tide and uh, if we rip that boat, we are not getting out of here. But we are back. And this is the same room, just like the, kind of like, um, I don't know what to call it, like the main hallway, I guess. So yeah, so let's just uh, crack on, see what we can find. So we've got a staircase here, we've got it down there, duck and cover. Got all the rooms on the left and on the right, so I'm trying to think which way is the best start. Should we start on the right or the left? 31. To 31 rooms. And then we've got, I think it's the same there. Like Meeting room, room shop. Oh, wow. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Look, it's like a full display. That is really cool, isn't it? Wow. Look, it's those things. You know when we were underground in the tunnels? Look, it's those same thingies. Oh, yeah. WD things. I want to know what they are because we've been finding these now quite often. I haven't got a clue. If anyone knows who's watching this, please comment because we thought they were fire extinguisher holders, then we thought they were for pumps. I'm still not sure, so please comment. Right. Holy shite. This. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this place. It's got one of those little posh trolley thingies. It's like a proper big function room or a chill out sort of zone. Look at the lights as well. Look at those. And it's actually got the original ceiling as well. They've actually kept it, the design. They've just obviously refurbed it. Look, even to the point, the last person that used that plate was still left. All the cake remnants and the crumbs in the cup. This is just... Words can't describe just how incredible this feels, knowing that this is abandoned. Like, why would you abandon this? No, I can't believe this is abandoned. I just, I, what was the logic of just one night getting up and just shutting this place, you know? Like a little podium thing there, look. I wonder what that leads to. Probably just the sea view, isn't that what it goes to the garden? Oh no, it's just literally just the sea view. Our boat's down there, I believe. <laughs> I hope it's still there. Can you imagine that? Right, so there's like the function room. I'm gonna call it that. It probably isn't that, but that's what we're gonna roll with. And then leading down to the bedrooms. Got a really snazzy bathroom. That'll be another one, probably a duplicate. Oh, look, the drama faces. So, oh my God, the games room is sick. Oh, oh God, there's a step there. <laughs> Didn't see that, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. They still left the ball in there, still sat there. Might have a cheeky game of that on in a minute. Got the bean bag, sort of like a chill out zone. Isn't this mad? Oh, you actually saw the step. I just tripped straight up on that. <laughs> Look, it's one of those really cool little seats. I'm gonna take a perch in it. Oh, look at this chair. This is mad. It's like one of those things where you spin round, you know, when they've got like the cat on their lap, like the white Persian. I've been expecting you. Ah, I love this. Doesn't, there we are. We've got another uh, snooker table, pool table. What is that? What game is that? I've never seen that before. What on 
earth is that? It's got like point thingies. That's really bizarre. Yeah, if anyone knows, please comment below. I'm not sure about that. No, neither am I. Yeah, again, they still the original ceiling as well. Right, so we're heading back down the main hallway. The games room is obviously in there. That's where everyone else is. I'm just going to keep on storming ahead because there's so much to look at. What's this? The green stairs. Ooh. I've got a feeling it's all going to link, so I'm not going to go downstairs just yet. I want to do this top row and then work my way down. Because uh, we've sent Matt off ahead in front, secret vault, and he's been gone for an, coming up for an hour, so it must be that big. Uh, oh, this is adorable. Look at this little thing. Oh, how fun is that? What is it? Uh, is it like a, it's a bottle holder. Oh, that's adorable. And yet again, kind of like, kind of like a man pad, really, you know, just a chill out zone. It's very, very snazzy, upper class, 100%. Crowley. Oh my God, that made me jump. So just like resources, paints, Henry Hoover. Some more toilets. I'm not really going to bother with the toilets because they all kind of look the same. But to be fair, they're all, that'll just be a duplicate crew only. I hate opening doors. Ooh. Oh, but that one will not open. That's interesting. That's the first locked door I've come across. Right, so we've got number 15, HMS Vanguard. Oh, these rooms. Look at the, look at the space. Look. And that light, oh, that's really cool. I thought we lost you. No, no, You've been gone a long time. Is it no, that big? I've done, I've done every room on this level now, so I'm gonna work my way down the stairs, but. Awesome. Here we are, room 14, HMS Roberts. Oh, that's, that's lovely. So they've got a nice rug there, huge bed. And they're all different design. That's quite nice, actually. So you're not, you're not kind of walking into the same sort of thing each time. Obviously it has similar assets, but like that design is completely different to the other room. But that is beautiful. I'm not gonna spend too much time in the bedrooms because there's obviously so many of them. So it's just gonna be a quick flick. There's obviously an ensuite on the left, but yet again, it's just a bathroom. Another crew only door, yellow stairs. Yet again, all links, so I will do that after. Room 31, HMS Duke of York. Bloody hell. This bathroom is probably like bigger than my actual own bedroom. <laughs> That's such a crazy. Oh wow. There we are, kind of, um, oh actually, so that's kind of like the flip side of the other bedroom. So absolutely identical. So as uh, so we've done that end and we're still heading down to these bedrooms. Room 12, HMS Prince of Wales. It's quite quirky how they've got, um, all the little names as well, and they've spiced it up a bit. Oh, look over there, Shays Long. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, something like that. And even the cups and everything, all the kettle and everything's left. Just literally left there. Who's that? Oh! Another bathroom that's pretty much big enough to be someone's house. <laughs> yeah, whoever stays here has got money. Like, big money. There's a little um, side room, just a little... Uh, don't know, chill out zone maybe? Dining room? Something on those lines. Room 11, HMS King George. Ah, okay, so they're starting to get different now. There we are, the theme's slightly changing. Got another chaise long, this time pink. Really pretty, I like that. Another little chill out area. Same sort of table, but, oh, that's unique. That, that is really cool. It's taller than me. Another crew only, is it locked? No. Oh, okay, so it's just like a stock cupboard for like blankets and like supplies and toiletries. HMS Belfast, room 10. There we are. Another little chill out area in the corner. Ensuite bathroom. And a beautiful sea view. Aha, so. We've got another games room. Poker chip room. No, poker chip, sorry. Oh, that's cool, I like this. 
So it all keeps linking into uh, that middle bit. Do you remember, obviously, where uh, the grand piano was? So it all just sort of like links, and this is the games room. There we are. And that is opposite room nine, HMS Nelson. Another on suite on my right. Oh, that's stunning. Wow. I tell you what, guys, I'll make you a promise. If ever I make enough money to rent this place out, just one room for a night, I will do it. When it's functional, obviously, because they've just been sold off. So in a matter of months, well, I don't know, maybe months has been a bit too confident, but maybe in a six months, a year, this place be functional again. And if it is, I will try and rake the money together to come and visit. There's the red stairs. Load of signs. And we're going into room eight. HMS Hood. Yeah, if I can somehow manage to uh, whip some money together for this place. It's £1,600 a night, so it's a lot of money. But I tell you what, I would actually really like to come here when it's functional and just see the atmosphere. Look at that. That wallpaper's really cool. Yeah, no, if I can, if I can do it, I will. Because I want to see uh, who I'd be staying with. Quite interesting. I bet you'd be staying with some high-profile people. Room 7, HMS Courageous. There we are, another little chill out zone. Huge bed, absolutely huge. Oh, I love the lighting actually, that's really cool. Got another games room, there's a lot of games rooms. Oh no, loafers lounge. I might be saying that wrong, but oh, that stage light, that's cool. Room six, HMS Revenge. Right, I'm wondering why there's a chair propped in the door. Maybe, because this one doesn't shut correctly. Oh, okay, no, it's not all been developed. That's the first one, it's not actually, uh, it's all moulded like uh, Matt was saying. Yeah, okay. I won't bother with that one because it's kind of the same. Oh, full on library. I bet there's some really good books in her as well. I'm not a massive reader, but I do appreciate look at the aesthetics of looking at them like this. They're actually in high order, I'm really satisfied. <laughs> wow. And an old, oh, an old telephone. There we are. That's pretty cool. Like back in the day, you'd have to put your uh, your finger around each loop and wind it all the way around. What's that? Men to the left because women are always right. <laughs> Room five, HMS War Spite. Spit. Spite. Yet again, it's not been fully developed. And it's a little office. There we are. I've got a ton of files in here. A lot of information, health and safety. Right, we're at the blue stairs now. And, um, oh, wow. So number three, HMS Dreadnought. I think that's how you say it, Dreadnought. And this room is by far the biggest so far. Doesn't look on camera. It might drop quality a bit, guys. It's starting to get quite dark, so I'm walking free, but that is definitely the biggest room so far. You've got like a slide in wardrobe as well. Sorry, look at the absolute state of me. Being an explorer, you can't exactly dress nice. You just have to wear what's comfy, especially climbing this thing. It's like a 40 to 50 foot climb. Room two, warrior. Okay, yeah, the warrior room yet again is absolutely enormous. So maybe these rooms will be a bit that bit more expensive. But you wouldn't you wouldn't really need all this space, you know? If you're in a hotel room, you uh, you barely spend the time in the room. If anything, you'd be spending more time outside of it. But then quite a small bathroom, so maybe that's why that room's bigger, because it's got a smaller, like, wash area. Got another office. It's not been developed, but that links obviously outside to the, um, the main bit. HMS Victory. That chair is absolute goals. Oh, it's like a gothic throne. Oh, I, I, I'm really into all the gothic kind of vibe. No way! <laughs> there's like a gothic room. Whoa! Whoa! There's a bath actually in the bedroom. And like another seating area, but way classier. Wardrobe, absolutely way classier. Flat screen. Oh, if you stay here, this is the room to stay in. Like, look at this. They've even sprayed like all the furniture to make it look really posh. And it is posh. Bathroom, marble counter. I tell you what, this marble would cost an absolute fortune. Look at the bed. Look at the bed. 
I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but they are absolutely stunning. You can see them all twinkling. What? It's probably because it's room number one though. And look, your wardrobes go right over your doorway. Right over it. And a beautiful big light. Oh, that feature. There we are. They've got another TV, obviously dining room there. Seating, TV. Seriously, what more could you want out of a hotel? Oh, there's a little shop. There we are. You can actually buy hats and bits. So let's say Spit Bank, Solent Forts, little key rings and stuff. Oh, that's quite fun, isn't it? And you got like, um, what are they? Oh, they're cufflinks, aren't they? Yeah, cufflinks. Oh, that's fantastic. You've even got the model, sorry, lighting. There we are, you've even got the model. All the shirts and hoodies. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, just to make it clear, obviously you all know me, I'm not gonna take anything. We are literally here just to film and document. And to be honest, it's obviously not my kind of thing as well. I'm a very girly girl with pink and all fabulous, except from Explores when I have to wear stuff like this. So it's a bit out of my comfort zone, but yeah, no, if you guys come here, please please don't take, just, just look. It's much more fun. And then the final room on this floor is the TV room, which is pretty cool. What is that? Ooh, a big chest case, a massive map, beautiful chest there, beautiful. Oh, that's on wheels. Oh, no, it links, there we are. That was the room we first started in. It's just the other end of it. There we are, and I think we'll probably head downstairs now, because there's another two or three layers, it's something like that. But yeah, let's head down here. Yeah, I've had to just go and strap about, God, enough light into fund a small world. Right, so we've got a little bar area. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that, like a, just a desk. What we got behind there? We've got a computer desk, a load of monitors, printer, keys. That bar is so stunning. So don't fought times and tide. Ooh. There we are. Bon voyage. That's quite cool. Oh, that would have been like the main door. It's got a keypad in it. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at the shark. Oh, wow. That's... There we are. That's a nice model. Oh, there's like artifacts. I'm not 100% sure what these things are, so if anyone knows, please comment below. So I don't have a clue, or the dinner plan. Wow. It's pretty good. Right, so I might start in the mess hall and work my way around, because I think they all link yet again, just like upstairs. Look at all these jackets. Oh, they're nice. Wow. So all the tables are set. Yeah, again, you've got your uh, till there. There we are, all the uniforms, just hanging above the, the, uh, the tables. But the hall isn't as big as I thought, actually. So, got another little um, area down there, tables, load of um, like cabinets and bits and pieces, some more jackets. Oh, and they've got the hats as well. Ah. And there's like your, your hot counter. So obviously chef would serve all your bits here, probably self-service kind of style. And yet again, same here. So, you know, your toast and in the morning, all of your breakfast bits, condiments. Oh, Right, I'm gonna give this one to the end because that's gonna get very dark and I'm gonna need a lot of lighting for that. Oh, wow! Wow, 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 wow! That's amazing! So for all my viewers watching, I used to do uh, burlesque dancing, like not professionally or anything, just more of a hobby. So that kind of thing really springs to me. A little gentleman's bar. <gasps> it was an actual stage. Yes, it's an actual stage. <gasps> this is my like domain. Look at that. <laughs> and all the lighting set up as well above it. So they actually did shows here. Whoa. The 
how? Where's the pole? Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, they would have. Yeah, definitely. 100%. That is definitely a strip pole. Actually, does it rotate? If it doesn't rotate, it might not be. Hang on. I don't know, actually, because uh, strip poles are normally rotational because you can't, it's not very easy to swing around one of those. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, if it's a design piece or not. Is that a dead end? Um, oh, danger, explosives. And it's a staircase. All right, guys, so I'm back at the kitchen with Genevieve because the, the stage area was a dead end. Just let out some stairs, but they're all gonna link obviously back up. But look, a coffee machine. And it actually looks really good condition. Coffee pots. Even the tea bags are still left. Everything's just, it's like they've literally abandoned this overnight. There are your boilers for your hot water. And then more than likely, this would have been a, um, a uh, dry store for all the chefs. Obviously you've got a couple of fridges in there. But yeah, more than likely the dry store. Oh, wow. They have rationales. Oh. All right, I don't know if you guys, obviously new viewers watching, but um, I'm a chef and the kitchens are normally my favorite thing. Like, oh, oh. What you guys won't realize is these ovens are worth thousands. Extractor flans, are, they are spotless. Whoa. Got your deep fat fryers. Got a twin set there. And uh, your, um, oh, I should know this. I call it the toaster maker, but it's not called a toaster maker. It just browns things, obviously, the light under there. I should know the name of that, that's really bad. If my, uh, if my work friends are watching right now, they're gonna kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, again, all the fans are super clean. And these chopping boards, way, look at that, purple. You've got the yellow one, which is obviously for your cooked meats, white for dairy, brown for veg, blue for um, poultry, um, sorry, fish even. And then your uh, green for um, fruit. Oh, so I wonder what the purple's all about. Is that a thing that I'm not aware of? And this is a can opener. They're, uh, they're actually quite hard to, to use, they're quite strong. But you just pull up the, uh, I would pull it up, but I've got a handful of camera equipment, but you just pull it up and obviously, there we are. And then all your surface space. It's a really big kitchen. It's actually so fresh, really fresh. Except from obviously a bit of dirt on the counters, but in general, actually looks pretty damn good. There we are. So this is a food preparation sink. Oh, it literally says it there, although oh, <laughs> Yeah, so every kitchen has to have separate sinks for hand washing and obviously your food prep. So this is your hand wash one there. It is a legal requirement. So well done, no man's fault. So there's all your trays for your, your food prep, like your veg and that for Sundays, depending on what they're doing. Hot wash area. And they're more than likely just around the corner where they store everything. Hostess trolleys, oh God. Yeah, there we are. Just a storage facility for the pot wash, just to chuck it all in and bring it around when they're ready. Ah, some little tongs. Oh, that's fun. That knife is huge. It's just left there. Ooh, don't wanna, don't wanna play with that. That's, that's deadly sharp. Oh, is this a walk-in fridge or freezer? I'm curious. I am very curious. I think this might be just a fridge. Yeah, it's still really chilly. Whew. Smells, oh, there's a block of cheese up there. Ew, that's why it smells, yuck. Got another room, which links to some green stairs, ooh. Oh, wait, hang on, the sugar's left in the pot. Oh dear, wow. Oh. Right, let's head through the creepy doors. Oh, lighting is really struggling now. Don't worry, we'll keep working with it. All right, so we've gone for the creepy doors. Storage cupboard. Not gonna waste time with the smaller bits. So I'm gonna keep venturing because there's so many rooms. Oh, stinks of gas. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's full. What's that? Oh my god. 
Whoa. So they've got loads of like little decorative pieces. And it's just another, um, I think it's a bar. I think that's what I'm gonna guess. Another piano. Oh, wow. Look at outside. Oh. You did a bit, you did. Got some yellow stairs. Another crew only. Wow, there's so many of Oh, locked, interesting. Oh no, it's not. Holy cow. So this is like all of the mains. Engine, everything, but it's very, very strong smelling. I'm not gonna go in there because I don't have a mask on. And I'm starting to learn that I really should be wearing a mask for these kinds of bits. So I don't wanna end up getting poorly. Another little staff office. Oh, that's really inspirational, that mirror. You look amazing. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> this mirror's a good liar. <laughs> Laundry room. A really random shower. Why is there a random shower? Oh, okay. Yeah, so all the cleaning supplies and bits. Bedding, cloths. Crew quarters, five. Bedroom for duty manager and night porter. Oh. Do you know, it actually sounds a bit crazy. I find that quite sad actually, how it's so small for staff that are working all these hours, but then for customers, it's all lavish. You'd have thought it'd been a little bit nicer for a duty manager. But then again, I suppose they're probably working all the time. They don't even care what the room looks like. And then this one is for the gents' bedroom and F and B team members. So F and B, food and beverage. I think that's what it stands for, food and beverage. I don't know, yet again, let me know in the comments. But yeah, again, it's, um, it's, 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 it's actually quite nice. It's not too bad, but you would have expected something a little bit more classy for all these people that are literally running your hotel. And they've got, oh, let's have a look at that. All team members take note, beds to be stripped half for use if you're leaving in the morning. Oh, okay, so it's just a little to do before they leave. <laughs> Pugs with pineapples. <laughs> That's quite quirky, I like that. Little things please little minds. Staff toilet, I'm not gonna bother that, it's just a toilet. It's fine, we know what a toilet looks like. Oh, here's the locker room. Right, so we are at crew quarter three, chef and KP's bedroom. Oh, so if I was working here, what would I be sleeping in? Ooh. Okay, I can roll with this. I can roll with that. It's pretty cute. I like I like the design. Carpet's not too bad. <laughs> I love it how it's the chef's room with the Red Bull. That is so true. Chefs need that kind of thing. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. I prefer it to the other one. It's a bit more spacious, a bit more fun. Just gonna back off on the door slowly. Ladies bedroom, all F and B team members. That's quarters two. Yeah, yeah again. Same old, same old, quite nice. Hair dryer, obviously for ladies. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hello ladies. <laughs> They've got good taste, I'll give you that, well done. And then crew quarters one. It doesn't say what this room's for. So maybe it's just for any other staff. These beds are teeny. They're really, really tiny. They don't look it on camera, but they are minuscule. A dresser, so everyone get kind of ready in the morning. This is probably saying staff only, isn't it? Yeah. And then we are back to like, um. Crew only. Oh, okay. Another double bed flat screen. Okay, so 21, HMS Queen Elizabeth. Oh, so we're back to the customer bedrooms. So they're not the same as the ones we were in before. It's just the next layer down now. Pretty similar. So guys, when they're similar, I'm just gonna keep moving because we we don't wanna see the same bedroom 300 times. I'm 100% gonna try and uh, stay here when this is one day open. Room 19. Is quirky. Look at that. It's an old um, window. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, that step. Was not expecting that. Nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we are. There's a stock room. Oh, that, that gave me a bit of a fright. Okay, just paints. Oh, that's quite fun. They've put all, the, <laughs> all of the, uh, the colours. Actually, that's a really good idea. If you're in a quick rush and you, you don't have time to look at the colors of the cans, 
you could just literally look for, like for example, cookie dough, and then just look for it on the can. Room 17. Same sort of design. Quite spacious actually, this one. And with the old milk, milk urn maybe? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a sea picture. Very nice. Uh, look at this corridor though. Stunning, absolutely stunning. This one has a security thingy on it. That is locked, that's really interesting. Locked doors always intrigue me. I wanna know what's under them. Ah, there's faces all in the hallway. Look, all the drama and stuff, all the... Room 16. En suite. All the en suites are exactly the same, just the only difference is the size. Wow, I like that box. Really unique actually, really unique. And that table's different, so we haven't come across one of those yet. And the lamps are different. What was that way? Oh, and that was back to the, um, to the stage. So I think I've done all these rooms. I'm just gonna flick up here just in case. I'm pretty sure we filmed this. Did we film this? All the glasses. I don't remember this corridor. Maybe it was a different way. Little kitchenette. Crew only again. This area's guest facing. Always keep this area clean and tidy. Ugh. And it will not open. That's interesting. Oh wow! Oh, it's it's the um it's the outside of where we've just explored. Gents barber. There's a barber on site? The roundhouse? Yeah. Apparently so. Oh, there we are. I think that sea bunker. Yeah, I've yeah. been down there. Uh-huh. It's really dark. Water, so oh bless, I'll go down there with you if you want. Wow. This has been so well thought through. Treatment in progress, do not disturb. Wow, a massage parlor. All the essential oils and everything on their shelves, beauty products. It's actually really calm in here. It's a really calm vibe. You make, it makes you feel really zen when you're walking around this place. Another therapy room, beauty therapy. Honestly, anyone who's watching this video, this is really recommended. Really, really. But it is a challenge. It's not easy to, you know, to get on here. It's not easy at all. Little chill out room. Like, you know, if you want to do these cool places, I suppose you have to commit to it. And, uh, you know, brave it. Sauna. A sauna. Woo Hit the jackpot. Oh, it's really claustrophobic though. I wouldn't want to sit in there. It's quite small. Probably only fit about two people in there. Yeah, again, it looks big on camera, but it's not big. It's actually really teeny. Very nice though. You know, as I'm saying, just um, if you guys do want to do this sort of stuff, you just have to make sure you really go for it. Because look at this, it's a worth -see. It's an absolute worth -see, but it's a bit, bit odd. Why there's a toilet, uh, a chair in the bathroom of that size. Oh, but it's a little bit, uh, just a little chill out zone again. Showers. So after you've had all your oils put all over you and a massage, just to wash it all off. That has not been developed, but that is some of the beauty things. So the slippers and the dressing gowns. Oh, I've done the whole ring. <laughs> there we are guys, so that was the spa. So we're at the gents barbers. Oh, oh, he's had a nice trim. Oh yes, go queen. <laughs> and um, oh. It's not a barber's. It's actually a men's bathroom. Bit odd, okay. Guys. Oh, and it's glass. You don't normally have glass on a bathroom door. Odd design. Mirrored. Even creepier, because the people that are going to the toilet could bounce that reflection off. Oh, no, wait, there's no, there's, there's a cap on it. Look, you can see the top. I was gonna say, that would be well weird. You could look up. What's that for? Room to, to the ladies' bathroom. Yeah. Oh, how odd is that? Women, women could literally watch under and watch the guys. Not that I think they would, but that's a bit that of a strange, really strange. Yeah, that is a very strange design. Hmm. Peculiar. So we're going to walk this little town bit now. I'm calling it the town bit because it literally feels like I'm actually back on land, and actually we're still in the middle of the sea. 
which is really, really weird. Beach huts. Oh, it's got actual real sand. Look, it's real sand. Yeah. Oh, what are these? Are they like little rooms? They're just little Oh, okay, so it's probably a changing room, isn't it? Three little changing rooms, probably from after the, the spa or something down there. I don't know, actually. Look at that, that's so quaint. Got Lord Nelson, the sign. And it, it looks like a pub. Yeah, it does look. <laughs> it really feels like you were actually in a little town. So some more staircases, um, but as Jen was saying, they all link. So it doesn't matter which ones I pick. So I'll just keep following this circle get all this little outside pub bit and then head down to the sea view. White sand, white. Wow. I've never seen white sand. They've spent so much money on this, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Welcome to Portsmouth flagship. Ooh. Yeah, again, another pit. And that was one of the staircases we used to go up. Spiral, the skylight. Right now. Oh, well, here's the anger management section. Go on, Jen, get them, get them. <laughs> there we are. Oh, what a weird design. Ooh, hang on, I swear I've walked through here. Have I? Yes, no, I did. I beg your pardon. I did walk to here, but I didn't go out that way. I stopped and doubled back because this is with the working piano and the guitar. Right, should we go check out the underground, the sea bunker? It's quite smelly down here. It's smelly. This is where I cracked my side. I could hear something. <laughs> wow, what is that? Yeah, I would crack my side. Water. <laughs> I could hear water. Is that the waves? It must it be. Waves, yeah, I could yeah hear water. I'd totally crack myself. Okay. That's crack. Laser yeah, battles. Yeah. Oh wow. <gasps> oh wow. Whoa! Nuts laser, laser guns? Yeah, look, laser yeah, battle. Yeah, There's an actual. Should we play laser battle? Should we play laser battle? If this works, I am playing laser battle in an abandoned building. Wow. Oh, look. Whoa! It's an. What? How do they work? Are they battery operated or do you have to charge them? I don't know. Shall I try one? No, no, they need to be all charged up. Oh, I would have loved to have played some laser tag. There must be an arena. There must be an arena for this, guys. I don't like that water sound, you know? I'm really not liking that. Yeah, that you got the hair pats on the top and stuff as well. Wow. It's an old one, eh? That is very old. I don't like how big this is, you know? It's quite confusing. Lamp passage. Warning, this area has not been checked for zombies. Ooh. Well, yeah, this one keeps going off this way. And this, I don't really know. Oh, it's coming down there. Yeah, that's where the water sound's coming from. Should we, have, should we have a look? I stood here and didn't go any further. Is it safe? I think so. Yeah, it feels safe. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Stand on the uh, Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, there's a ladder. There's a ladder going down, it's the waves. There's a mirror, why? Spotlight. Oh, that's quite far down still. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a bit of a drop, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not really sure why all these things link off. I don't know if there's anything particularly special off of one wing or not. Oh, guys, this is like the laser tag little thingy. So that's where they camp out, obviously laser tag. I think this entire thing's an arena. I think that's what I was thinking then, just play around here. Look in here. Yeah, look. I think this entire underneath is an arena because they've got all of the little bits where they can hide in camo. Yeah. Oh, there's a cell. Oh, no way, look, it's a prison cell. Whoa, and there's a dead guy. No, 
Oh, yeah. Do you need a hand? <laughs> need a hand? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the things he was talking about the other day, those, um, those stretchy things. The workout, yeah, punch bag. No, 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 those, um, that. Oh, it's a rowing oh. machine. Yes, it's a like that. Nice little punch bag. Really old boxing gloves. What's that? Is that a lift shaft? Hang on, let's try and get the camera up there. Oh, it's a lift shaft. No, it's, oh, it's been boarded. It's been boarded halfway. Old paperwork. That's weird. Oh, it's just got a load of metal poles. Nothing major in there. Just a load of artifacts. Yeah, again, intriguing. These just keep going and going, doesn't no, it? No, it's just an empty room. Yeah. It's just never ending. I hope we don't get too lost because I don't know the way up. Wow. It's vintage. Yeah. Another little arena thingy, just a nothing major, just a little quick hide behind maybe. And oh, cool. So there's like a desk. Are they piano keys? Why have they been taken off? No, no, it's one of oh, those. We've got accordion. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's oh, vintage. Wow, that is so old. Another really old piece of equipment. Okay, my camera lighting has just got insanely good. I don't know why. I'm still getting used to this phone, guys. A, a marble horse. It's worth a bit. Lots of wall stuff, isn't there? No, there's even another plate on there. Yeah. Oh, look at that old typewriter. Leicester, England. Wow. So I think, to be fair, that is the majority of downstairs. I'm just trying to work out where we've been. I'm actually getting a bit worried because I can't remember how we uh, how we got out of here. Hmm. That's going to be entertaining because there's so many little avenues. So I'm not 100% sure. It's a big bit of machinery. All the cogs. That is freaky. I'm not looking in that. Oh, shall I look? Ooh. Shall I look? I don't I don't really feel comfortable doing it. I just don't oh it's fine, there's nothing in there. I was expecting like a a doll or something. The only doll I like is Chucky. I don't like the actual normal kids' dolls, they freak me out. Right, so this got a bit darker, viewers. Um, we've had to start turning a few of the lights off and preserve a bit of power because I don't know how much longer we're going to be walking around this bit. Tr I am trying to actively find the exit, but I can't find it. Which is always very reassuring. No. All right, guys, so we found the exit, and now we're going to head up top and have a barbecue. Again, it'd be rude not to. Yet again, we'll take all safety precautions, so don't worry, we take our litter and we're not gonna burn the place down. So we found a fire pit, so we're gonna do it safely. Um, so just gotta track the team down now, and then go get a barbecue sorted. All right guys, so I've just come up top to get a drink right and refresh, and I've come out and I've seen sausages all over the floor, and I thought that's a bit weird, maybe someone else had the same idea, to find that they've tucked into ours. They've actually, they've literally, look how they've pecked the bag. They have literally pecked every point of this bag to get into our food. That's absolutely mad. Look, they've had a good old peck at that. They couldn't get through that, obviously. I, uh, I bought all of us a celebration cake because I've obviously hit in the 1K. I thought it'd be nice that we could celebrate. So we're celebrating with you guys. Obviously, you guys watching this. Look at them. They've, they've literally, they have literally gone to town. They've eaten a whole pack of sausages. Oh, the cheese slices. There's no cheese slices. Oh, they've had the cheese. Yeah, there's the packet. That is the remnants. And look at this. Oh, what's this? The hot house. Oh, hang on. Let me unbolt it. Just a bolt. There we are. Oh, this is so cute. Sorry, guys. Oh, real animal fur. Okay. Oh, how amazing. So you could probably sit in here and have little stories with all the guests, you know? Just a little chill out area, that's, that's beautiful. What a great idea. And then we're at the garden and it is absolutely lush. Look at this, it's like tropical paradise. Got a hot tub and the crow that ate all of our, uh, 
all of our cheese. Yeah, little man, got an old cart as well. Crew only. I wonder what's in here. I bet it's locked. Oh, yep, locked. Oh, I wonder what was in there. Never mind. And then that's the garden, the rest of it. So I think we're going to set up barbecue and we'll catch up with you when we're on our way either onto the barbecue or when we're on our way out of here. And from the camera, it doesn't look that high. I, I get it. It doesn't look high on camera, but it's a, oh, I don't know, I'd say at least 30 foot drop. Might even be a little bit, a little bit more. You right? Yeah. Yeah. Back against the wall. Yeah. Is that it? Oh wow, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah I forgot. I, I thought I. No, no, you haven't. Oh. And this is the last scary bit. Well done. Good job. Right, here's the final hurdle. Bring yourself around. You can stand on bits like that, and you can stand on these. I just, it's, it... Just get yourself up first. Just get yourself up, just Get your hands nice and tight. Ooh, fuck. And get that hand on a, on a good, on a good thing. Yeah, you know, that's it. Okay. There, now you can get down. <laughs> there, you go. there we are. Thank you. That was actually a lot easier than my uh, first, first method, fair enough. Oh, bring it in a bit. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> right guys, that was the no man's fort and we are making our way over to the one just in the distance, just at the tip of the boat. It's not a guarantee to get in, but we will try our best. <laughs> 